Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like my new friend Dennis over here from within the digital infrastructure space. And this good looking guy next to me is Mr. Dennis Streeter. Dennis is the CRO of Hyper. Dennis, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me here, having a good time at this trade show. What do you think about New York? Huh? I, I love it. I love it. Now, now, I maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm a Chicagoan. Uh, but uh, my heart you're is, forgiven. My heart is in is in New York. I love the vibe. I like the people. I like the music, the theater, the art. I love all of it. But that's another conversation. How how's the show going for you, Dennis? The show's going great for us. I mean, everyone in this space, everyone at the show understands just how white hot the data center market it is, is, right? It's that's right. You know, you've got your colo cloud, you got your enterprise, then you've got this juggernaut known as AI just coming in and completely up and I've heard of all this. Of the you've heard of this. <laughs> that's right. You that's can't right. turn on a, a television station without out here about any screen you look at has AI something ahead of it. Yeah. And we're the digital builders of that new railroad, right? This is the new railroad. This is what connects us all and brings all these great services to us. And I'm here for it, man. I believe him. I absolutely believe him. But Dennis, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Hyper? Oh, so glad to do that. So yeah. Hyper Solutions is the company that I'm the chief revenue officer of. And what we do is we build power distribution products for the critical mission market at scale. And the key is at scale, right? Yeah. Where we're at in the supply chain right yeah. now, with post COVID, you're still seeing lead times at 52, 62, 72 weeks on so really critical pieces of yeah. switch gear and PEs yeah. and RPPs. But well, we saw that call and we answered that call a few years ago. And what's our claim to fame is we use a distributed manufacturing model. So instead of having one place where I build finished goods, I have uh -huh. nine. Okay. Right. So if I've got a problem in a factory, I've got eight other ones still cranking and still chugging because the data center market demand is so high and speed to delivery and speed to market is everything right now. Honestly. OK, so uh, and this is only day one. I've heard two things more than I've heard anything else. AI, dirt, of course, um, but also supply chain. Yeah. I did not. I, I mean, I maybe I should have anticipated that, but supply chain, supply chain management. It's just like it's a hurry up and wait kind of scenario. 100%. Um, so, so tell our viewers a little bit about. I mean, how you went into this with that very with, uh, with providing two solutions. One, energy. That's right. Two, how to get it how quickly. To get it yeah. right. Yeah, it doesn't do you any good to say I've got an opportunity for a client. They want me to build them a <laughs> hundred megawatt data yes. center, and you go back and say, Well, I can have it online in twenty thirty. Yeah. No, they yeah. want it next week, yeah. right? So during COVID, when the whole supply chain of pretty much everything humans bought on the planet got gummed up, yeah, yeah, um, the orders didn't stop flowing. Data center demand didn't go down. So there was no pause yeah. in any of this. So we're still dealing with that pent up demand from the COVID times, yeah. plus the AI juggernaut I mentioned earlier, wow. just stacking on top of us, right? Yeah. So what it's led to, if you're a mid-tier colo cloud operator, you're in line behind the Mag 7 at the large <laughs> manufacturers because you don't write $3 billion POs. And that's <laughs> there just it the is. bottom line, there right? It is. Yeah. So what do you do if you're one of those mid-level, tier-level colo players that are trying to provide for those Mag 7 and customers, you've got to have supply chain stood up. And that's literally what Hyper did. One of the unique things that we do when we build and engineer a, say, power distribution unit from the ground up, we qualify it with all of the major manufacturers of Circuit Breaker. So that way, you know, you as a customer might say, we prefer brand X, but if yeah. brand X is out of breakers, do you want to go with brand Y and get your equipment on time? Yeah. Or do you want to wait six months for brand X to get their supply chain figured out? Our customers unanimously tell us, get it here now swap out that breaker. And that's just one of the innovative ways we're tackling the supply chain problem at Hyper. Outstanding. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that energy. Um, uh, I, I know it's, it's translating well with our viewers, um, but we talked about supply chain. Now let's talk about AI yeah. uh, because you can't, uh, you can't not. Uh, let's talk about how AI maybe has exacerbated the problem that you are solving and, and how maybe it's exacerbated your own ability to solve those problems. So I think it's a great segue. And I would I would make the statement of this. I think that AI is going to be the final unifying force of humanity. And the topic that I center around yes. is a concept that we've introduced at Hyper as one of our kind of higher minded concept, which is that of universal basic AI. 
you've heard of universal basic income, the premise where everyone gets a check That's every month. Cr- yeah. You know, a lot of people, yeah. you know, you have your opinion whether you like it or not. Yeah. No, nope, I don't like a handout, right? Yeah. I don't want a handout. I want to work for it. But I'm going to need access to the latest AI tools so that I can compete on a global stage. And that's me as a North American guy saying this. Yeah. What about the 13-year-old in Bangladesh? She's great. She's smart. She's got a lot of great ideas. But if she doesn't have access to some level of AI, she won't be able to compete with everyone on the world stage. So my call to our industry, ourselves included, is we go out and build this AI future that increases productivity in the GDP of the planet, that we carve out enough for a universally accessible AI agent for everyone on the planet. JSA, I, 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 Dennis. That's my big thing. Dennis, I could not, I'm, 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 I'm with you. I, I am with you. Um, uh, JSA, uh, for, for its, its entire existence, 20 years, we've been a very kind of human first firm. 100%. And so when others come and sit here in front of this camera and they, without saying we're a human first firm, right, right, right. They, How do you they, say that they, in your marketing they, materials? They, they show it. Um, it gets me very excited because it's more than just power. It's more than just supply chain. It's about humanity. 100%. It is 100% about that. And I think we do all this bit and bite manipulation of yeah. data and we yes. forget the whole point is to serve humanity. Yeah. Bring us closer as humans. And yeah. I'll, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the hot take. This is a Dennis hot take. You heard it here first. <laughs> I said that AI is going to unite humanity and what it's really going to do is it's going to take care of all of the administrative tasks for us. Where's my PO? Where's my delivery? When's yeah. my dinner arriving? When yeah. does Johnny get picked up from school? And it's going to allow us to connect again as humans. And when we do that, we will finally see that we're way more alike than different. And I'm talking globally. Yeah. And then we can start to evolve as a species. And I'm here for it, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, my co-host, <laughs> Dennis Streeter. Dennis, that's, that's uh, me Thank too. You. Me too. Uh, so, so, so good uh, so to much. meet you and to have you on JSA TV. Let us most definitely do this again. Yeah, come look and more. learn more about us at hypersolutions.com. We really appreciate the time here. Y- you bet, you bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching Dennis and I on JSA TV. We'll see you very soon.